Welcome to Bite Sized Nutrition Education with me, Miss Maddie. These lessons are made possible through a partnership between the AmeriCorps Farm to School Program and the Oregon School District. Thanks for watching! Today's big question is What does a healthy plate look like? I'm Miss Maddie. In today's bite-sized lesson, we're going to learn how to build a healthy plate. We're also going to learn about the five food groups we're going to use to build the healthy plate. Let's get started. In today's lesson, we will identify the five food groups, match foods to the food group they belong in, learn how each food group helps our bodies, and construct a healthy plate with the USDA MyPlate tool. Let's go! First, let's think about it. When you hear the words, healthy plate, what do you imagine? What foods are on the plate? A healthy plate has a variety of foods from each of the five food groups. It's colorful and interesting to look at. So what are the five food groups? This is called the My Plate. It shows us how all five food groups can fit into a healthy meal. The five food groups are fruits, vegetables, grains, protein, and dairy. Can you think of any examples of these food groups? Here's some. Some examples of dairy products, which come from milk, are yogurt, cheese, chocolate milk, string cheese, cottage cheese, smoothie, and pudding. Some examples of vegetables are broccoli, asparagus, bell peppers, corn, avocado, carrots, spinach, sweet potato, and tomato. Some examples of fruits are strawberries, apples, bananas, blueberries, orange juice, watermelon, grape, mangoes, and pears. Examples of grains are tortillas, cereal, rice, bread, pasta, popcorn, crackers, bagels, and oatmeal. And some examples of protein are eggs, tuna, hamburger, nuts, chicken, tofu, beans, salmon, and pork chops. Now let's play a game. I will show you a food. Then you'll tell me which group it belongs in. Are you ready? Which food group does lettuce belong in? Good job! Lettuce is a vegetable. Which food group does spaghetti belong in? Spaghetti is a grain. Which food group do cherries belong in? Nice! Cherries are a fruit. Which food group does cheddar cheese belong in? Cheddar is a dairy product. Which food group do scrambled eggs belong to? Scrambled eggs are in the protein group. Good job! Eating foods from every group helps our bodies stay strong and healthy. In fact, each food group helps our bodies in a different way, kind of like a unique superpower. Stand up and get ready to move. I'm going to show you a motion that will help us learn the superpowers of each food group. Get ready. Grains give us energy. Let's run in place because we have so much energy.
dairy contains calcium, which keeps our bones and teeth strong. Smile big, let me see those pearly whites. Protein helps our bodies build muscles. Can you show me your strong muscles? Fruits and veggies have so many superpowers. They keep our heart, eyes, stomach, and immune system strong. Which of those superpowers is your favorite? Can you show me? Great job! Let's review what we've learned so far. We know that the five food groups are dairy, fruits, vegetables, grains, and protein. We also know that each food group has its own superpower. And a healthy plate has foods from each of the five food groups. Let's try it. We're going to build our own healthy plate. Can you help me pick out some foods for my lunch? Here we go. Here's my plate. Let's start with some fruit. Mmm, blueberries. I'm gonna start with a handful of blueberries. Whoa, they're rolling all over the place. Next, some vegetables. I think I'm gonna eat some lettuce and carrots. That's a good looking salad. Now the grains. I'm gonna have a sandwich. So the bread for my sandwich will be the grains. And chicken will be on the inside of the sandwich. So the chicken is my protein. Now, let's add some dairy. How about a cup of yogurt? Mmm. And the last thing we need is a nice tall glass of water. Great! I can't wait to eat the foods on this plate. Thanks for your help. Now try it for yourself. Build your own plate or draw it with the worksheet in the description below or on a plain piece of paper. Thanks so much for coming to today's bite-sized nutrition lesson. I had so much fun learning with you. See you next time!